Are you some weirdo who thinks the internet is boring? Well, we're gonna take a deep dive right into the indie web. The indie web. The indie web. Okay, what's what's the indie web? What's the tiny web? What's a static website? All you gotta know. All this just means cool stuff. Okay, cool, cool, and cool. Okay, now. About to take you to cool school. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We're on Neo Cities. Look at all these cool websites, okay? People just making stuff from scratch. Really taking it to like an art form, you know? Like, look at this. Mimi Kitty 49. This is just. It's beautiful. They're part of the, the Vocaloid web ring. They've got little animals doing little animal stuff here, okay? I love it. Then we got uh, Rebo.Zone, which is artsy in its own way. Look look at this, like, little dithered picture going on here. Click on this uh, mecha part for the mecha section, and there you go. You're not finding that stuff on Twitter.com, okay? You're not going to find this on a Facebook, okay? Look at this. Even this site, they're still working on it. This is very, it's very cool. Like, people should aspire to do things like this. Okay. Look, they got a guest book too. Do you have a guest book? That's why I thought. Okay, and there's also Nico Web. Look at this. The fa my favorite part of the site right now is happening. So right now, there it is. There's a little, little kitty cat trying to find your cursor. Right there. And they follow your cursor. And that's the best feature the site has. Okay, it's sort of like... Sort of like Neo Cities, But... Not Neo Cities. And look at this. Look at that, look at that cube. I click on this cube. Let's see, Felix uh, Fever. Let's take a look. Okay, would you not like to go to Felix Fever on NacoWeb.org? This looks like a tough nut to crack. Exactly. Exactly my thoughts. And we've got Juice over here. They got. The Toho web ring also. A cool little website. And oh man, look look at these little websites. They're just they're just fun, okay? Go over to the uh, the Toho web ring. What's a web ring? It's a ring of webs. You dangus. You put your web in the ring. And there you go. And we got Toho here. But Everyone on this list owns at least 20 Fumos, okay? Otherwise, it wouldn't be in this. But look at this here. So we got this site. Let's take a look. Little, little dancing characters. We got stuff like this, okay? So it's it's nice. And if you want to, you know, you could use the Naco Cities. You could use the Neo Cities. You could use the bear blog or you could always like find a VPS and self-host well not self-host with the v you know what I mean it's not technically self-hosting but you are still renting a VPS you're going you're setting up your server and stuff at least you could really like self-host on like your own little personal thing with nginx but probably just gonna use the VPS anyway that's totally a thing too. But you could also just go to status.cafe and look, they got a little like, uh, not Twitter. So you get the statuses and let's see, my sir and my skin too. Nice. You get what I mean. That's a post. These are all posts. A lot of websites have varying layouts their pages and it seems kind of fun dot 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 and look they got a little neo like neo city site right there 
can advertise your stuff a little bit here. And some people, they go all out. Other people, you know, they just add the stuff in. Look, homepage not defined, email not defined. Really just depends on the person here on, you know, all the stuff they want to add to their thing. Can theme pages like this. It's just nice. Status.cafe. They got a forum too. You can talk about the tiny web, the indie web, whatever you want to call it. Talk about there. Then there's also picklog.blue. And what this is, you, you upload like your JPEG and then it compresses it and throws it on here with, the, with whatever caption you got. So got this nice little little deal here. Nice. <laughs> too cringe for punk. Too bass for pop. Just miserable enough for Midwest emo. I'm sorry, okay, I know. I know. I've got terrible taste here, okay? But this is this speaks to me. This this wine next to Cheez Its compressed. That speaks to me, okay? I'm just a dog with a blog, though, just to let you know. I'm up on that bear blog all the time, blogging it up. Like, li look at this, come on. 25 unique visitors in seven days. I am, I am punching way above my weight class here, okay? I'm doing pretty good. So, <laughs> those 25... Man, oh man. No, but um, anyway, Bear Vlog, they've got some really great stuff on the Discovery page, which is their trending page. Shows the exact algorithm used for that right here. And it's a mix of bear likes and how old the post is. And you get neat little things on here, like um, small web rabbit hole. You've got um, the Zen of coding. Let's take a look at that. Oh, it's, uh, it's, um, got this. Yeah, that guy does, like, some themes. He's actually really cool. Um, got some other cool stuff here. I'm probably never going to need to use fire ducks, but it's good to know that that's an alternative to pandas. Got a little neat NeoVim set up right here, but, yeah, cool stuff all around. But also... Take a look at these, these bear posts they got here. They're bearable. Oh yeah. Uh, BogerDiary.BearBlog. It's really good, by the way. I, I love this dude's stuff. Like, you get a little, little cartoon with it, too. Looking at this, how could you not love this page? Okay. There's also, um... I think of cool pages, I think of this, um... Cindy's Dream Home site, I, I like it. It's just, it's just cool. I just like it. We've got um, a library over here, manga, zines, we got some art, comics, their games, just cool stuff in general. So, yeah, stuff like that. They also have a uh, guest book. Which is probably the most I've ever seen in a guest book. Like, crazy numbers here. 1,700. It's crazy numbers. For, um, yeah, they use smartgb.com. It's totally usable as a guest book site. It's been around for, like, forever. It still has this old picture. It's still an old site. Love it. Then... This is really important. Uh, the Cozy.cat. They've got a ton of great resources. It also like serves as the author of the site, sort of like their blog, their little web home. So you can look at the cottage, you can go to town. These um, little things on your little flourishes are nice. 
there's the newsletter which is like the blog and then you've got the uh, the small web ads and web rings this is where I like to head over because they've, they've got them all they've got the obey the system web ring the Linux web ring that geek web ring nerds of the 90s Take what nerds of the 90s. Let's take a look at it. Okay, well that did not exist. Let's go take a look at. There's also an ad right here. This is the free speech one. Let's take a look at them. What do we got here? It's coming up. Right in the town square. Okay, we've got our members right here. And each of these sites, they're all doing their own thing, and they just are a part of this web ring, which is, I think is pretty cool. Let's take a look, this person has comics up. Just, again, cool indie web stuff. Like, I don't know, there's something about it. You can just browse these for hours, like, Got this one right here, just does the Windows startup, and then boom, goes right into this. And then, of course, uh, just want to mention Meadow, because they do a ton of stuff. They've got Kitty, which is a clone of Bear Blog. They've got guest books, which a ton of people use at this point, like across like Bear Blog and other sites. And they've got Meyer, which is like an RSS thing, which is also like a community RSS thing. So you can save your own. And then they also get thrown into the discovery page. It's a fork of this other program. Vor. It's really cool. I like it. Um, also on Bear Blog, you can like export your whole blog if you wanted to into just like a CSV file. I just think that's cool, you know. A lot of other sites don't have it that easy. Like, I don't know. I also use this add-on a lot with Bear. Just just for the quality of life stuff. Like, if I want to just add this as, like, heading 1, heading 2, all that stuff for Markdown. It's got this nice little toolbar going. Totally recommend that if you're Bear blogging. Which... Did do a video on if you're into that kind of thing. Also did a video on Neo Cities at some point. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit. But yeah, check out these posts. You know, we got um having my friend massage my back. This chaperone one. What is Sneed? You know, just different, different stuff over here. Wacky stuff. Like, who else has given you Super Bells, Motorman? No, and that's who. Okay, I would say this post even is worth a bear like. No, don't actually do that. No, he's not. It's not begging for likes. I'm just, just bouncing. Also got my uh, my guest book up here. If you want to check it out, again the site's sr.bearblog.dev, and um, got Rat Fanatic and Brandon over here. Super nice to sign the guest book, and I don't know, I just like it in general. Really good sites. Also, I do have to shill my new zine. Okay, Monster in the Cave Collection 1's out, now I got Collection number 2, and we've got hits like The Monsters Never Commit Tax Fraud, let's see, The Monster Keeps Discovering Allergies That I Didn't Know It Had, Monster Just Found Out What a Janitor Is, we've got, um, the monster forgot that they carry cash in their wallet because they keep telling homeless people they don't have any. 
monster has a higher level of education than your parents. Just, just the bits, you know. It's all, you can print it out if you want to, whatever. Got a whole video on how to make these, how to print them out, if you're into that kind of thing. Also, I should probably acknowledge the Fediverse a little bit, maybe. Um, Fediverse.observer will just get you a list of sites, and you can choose stuff based on, like, software, like Mastodon and Pleroma are a lot more, like, Twitter-like, whereas, like, Lemmy is more like a Reddit-type thing, so, you know, you can sort through click on users, you're going to want the most active ones. Probably don't go to Pawu. Just don't go there. Um, just probably don't. Then um, Pleroma. Again, it's like Mastodon. You can use it with Mastodon stuff. It's Twitter-like. And they've got their own things too. So, yep. This is uh, the Andy Web. Get on it, man. Get on it.